Hello everyone, welcome to day 17th of Marsh Lead Code Challenge and today's question is generate random points in a circle. In this question you are given three parameters. The first one is the radius of the circle. The second one is the x coordinate of the center of the circle followed by the y coordinate of the center of the circle. What we need to do is to generate random points which lie within the circle. This point should be highlighted that the point uh, that, that we need to generate should lie within the circle, not on the circumference of the circle, nor outside the circle. So please keep this point in mind and let's quickly understand the algorithm that I have created for this. We need to fill in these two methods in the solution. The first one being the constructor of the class and the second one is a random point generation logic. So moving on to the algorithmic part, the slide show that I have created for this. And let me just take a pen here. So even before jumping onto the details of the algorithm, let's try and understand few properties of a circle. The center of the circle is A comma B. Let's highlight that. A is the X coordinate. B is the Y coordinate. And the radius is R. So this is R. This length is R. This length is R. This length is R again. This two being R. So let's write all the extreme coordinates of the circles. So this point would be a comma b plus r. The bottom one would be a comma b minus r. The rightmost would be a plus r comma b and the left one would be a minus r comma b. So this is a minus r comma b. Also, let's try and understand few properties that we read in 11th or 12th standard. x minus a, where a is the center of the circle, square plus y minus b uh, square. If it's equal to r square, then it lies on the circle. So if there's an x and y coordinate whose distance from the center, whose distance from the center, which is given by a square, a, x minus a square plus y minus b square happens to be equal to r square, then that point lies on the circle. If it's greater than r square, that means it's li it lies outside the circle somewhere here, like anywhere around along this region. And if it lies within if it is less than r square, that means this distance is less than r square, x minus a square plus y minus b square is less than r square. That means that lies inside the circle. So these all for all these points, this property will be true. Pretty simple. And let's reduce the problem from a circle to a 1D problem. To a, one, to a two, 1D problem, from a 2D to a 1D problem. How? Let me just explain that. Let's assume this coordinate as A and we are interested in finding a random number between A plus R starting from A minus R. So this is pretty much clear to us that the range that we are interested in is A minus R to A plus R as stated here, the range of X coordinate. How can we do that? Let's try and generate random numbers up to a range of 2R. So if we are able to do that, starting from 0, we can generate random numbers up to 2R. Pretty straightforward. We can use Java Rand helper class uh, to generate numbers from 0 up to 2R. And let's then add a minus r to it. So if I add a minus r to it, this point will become this point, and this point will become a minus r will become this point, and the center would be a. So which mathematical formula can we derive? We need to generate numbers a minus r plus random up to 2R. So this is the formula 
that we are that we will use for generating random numbers between the range of a minus r up to a plus r a minus r plus rand of 2r that means first you generated a random number starting from 0 up to 2r and you added a minus r to it and therefore you are able to generate this range we'll do this for the x coordinate here we'll do it for the y coordinate and we will pass the, the x and y coordinates uh, to this logic of ours which will tell us whether that point lies on the circle outside the circle or inside the circle we'll keep on doing that till the time we don't find a point that lies inside the circle that's it that's pretty much it and as soon as we find such a point we abort the process and return those x and y coordinates so let's quickly move on to the coding part let me just define three variables a stands for the x coordinate double b stands for the y coordinate of the center so these two correspond to the center and double r stands for the radius we will also generate a random helper class and let's call it rand initialize this to null and let's move on to the constructor part this dot a equals to x center this dot b equals to y center pretty simple and this dot r equals to radius also we'll initialize rand equals to new random so everything that we need to initialize has to be done in the constructor and all the private uh, helper methods should be uh, in initialized to null or their default values uh, basic rule of java and let's just write the method to generate uh, x and y coordinates in that range so get random coordinate and what we will pass here r and the starting coordinate so let's write this helper method first generate random coordinate and it will accept two double variables first is the radius and second one is the x or the y center coordinate so let me just call it c and what we need to return r minus c plus rand dot next double into 2 into r so let me just explain this part to you next double gives us floating values between the range of 0 till 1 and when we multiply it with 2r we get numbers floating numbers within the range from 0 till 2r this is what i have done here and once we have written this let's just generate the y coordinate get random coordinate r comma b and while get distance and what will pass x comma y comma r if it's greater than or equal to r square r into r if that is the case then we'll have to keep on generating such random numbers otherwise we'll return our answer and these x and y coordinates are those coordinates of a random point to complete this let's write the last method private double get distance double x and double y we don't need r here so let me just remove that and the distance would be given to us using the formula of distance between two points x minus a into x minus a plus y minus b into y minus b 
pretty straightforward way of calculating the distance actually this is square of the distance and i have not used square root therefore i multiplied it with uh, r into r rather than uh, keeping r then otherwise otherwise i would have done a square root here not an issue uh, you can go for either ways and let's just revise this code once yeah this looks fine we generated the numbers get distance and get random coordinates oh this should be c minus uh, r so the in the slide show you saw a minus r plus 2 r uh, random of 2 r so using the same logic i have written it here so this is c minus r rather than a minus r and let's just submit this accepted uh, thanks for watching the video hope you enjoyed it please don't forget to like share or subscribe and subscribe to the channel